Hello everyone, so today we'll be reviewing a circle cutter and this circle cutter is made in Japan by a company called NT Cutter. I just reviewed their art knife for leather crafting and this is a circle cutter which is the model number C1500P. So this one, the reason I bought this one, which uh, by the way is plastic construction, um, is because this one actually does not require you to punch a hole on the object that you're that you're cutting the circle on so great for leather work uh, I actually want to use this cutter to test it out to maybe make a few coasters out of it using one of the leather that I have so without further ado let's just um, open it up and check it out so comes in a plastic box like this and by the way uh, it's made in Japan and uh, I bought it on Amazon for $21 shipped from Amazon Prime and uh, Let's see if it's well worth its, um, you know, its price because um, not only I want to use it to cut coasters, I also want to use this to actually cut corners on some of the items that I'm making. For example, you know, um, wallets and bags and stuff like that because I always had trouble cutting a smooth round corner on, on, my, uh, on my things because I just started doing leather working. Um, so out, out of the box, there's a, I think that's a center guide, and this is the actual cutter itself. Um, again, it's plastic with a metal piece in the center. That's probably the main part that's holding it, um, and a few knobs. So let's uh, let's take a quick uh, closer look. So, so this is the guide. Basically, you put the guide down there, and then you kind of align on where you want to cut the circle. And then basically you just slide this thing in here and then it will be fixed into place. And then you, you know, press down on the, on, the, on the knob in the center. And basically if you set the blade, you can just nicely and quickly cut through any kind of stuff, paper or leather, or even make a mark on the wood maybe. So that's how it works basically. So, on this end, on the outer edge, is the actual blade. So the blade is, uh, it's actually the standard blade, it's actually the exact same blade as what's uh, used on the NT Cutter's um, art knives. So I think the model number is uh, DBA200P, and this is the, I believe, 45 degree blade and this is what's used for the circle cutter. So the blade is inserted on the side over here and uh, you adjust this by pressing it down on the blade itself, okay? So if you press it down, the blade goes down uh, like that and then you can lock it into place, okay? So this top piece Obviously, it's just a little knob over here. Doesn't do anything, but it's kind of protecting you from the other end of the blade. Um, so basically, you just have it over there and then you adjust the height of the blade to the thickness of the leather and then you make the cut by locking it. In the center, this knob controls the, the, di the diameter of the circle that you can cut. So the furthest Obviously, as you can see, it cuts a very, very wide. Let's see how long it is. So almost uh, like 8.5 centimeters. Uh, that's how many inch? Let's see. So let's just do a quick measurement. Let's see how many inches it cuts. I'm gonna kind of roughly align it at the zero mark. And so it cuts to about 3.5 inch circle max. I would say 3.4 inch max. So that's, uh, that's the size it can cut on the largest part. On the smallest part, um, it can cut very, very, very close to the cincher, okay? So um, obviously on the back, as you can see, it's got, oh, Look guys, it's got three blades as well and a replacement knob is all hidden over here. I didn't even know that. So looks like a five piece of replacement blade is included free of charge. That's so nice. 
and also a extra knob if you lose the original one on the on the blade outside so it's an integrated uh, uh, blade holder ingenious design so uh, this piece it's kind of anti-slippery it's like a kind of rubbery piece over here and I believe if you screw this off there should be a needle in here let me see if it's true or it might not there might not be a needle okay so I guess on this model there's no needle so you can't really you know do fine uh, pointing adjustment however um, I'm mainly using this for leather so it doesn't really matter much I guess the next part would probably just be testing out you know how well it cuts because uh, it's very very easy to use there are two knobs that you need to adjust and lock and then you press it down it locks it into place and then you rotate and it cuts okay so um, so let's use a scrap piece I'm gonna use I'm gonna cut a few small pieces on this little scrap here and for that we're gonna adjust the blade to the thickness of the leather which is about right okay so basically I just put the leather over here and then I just you know visually gauge how thick I should set the blade at which right now is probably a little too much so I'm gonna set it just a little bit recessed so like so and you have to be really careful when you're handling this because the blade is exposed and uh, it's really really sharp blade okay so since it's a small scrap I'm gonna use just a, a smaller circle then so I set that and it's ready and I'm gonna use this gauge to see where I want my circle to be cut exactly so um, right here we're gonna cut a small circle using the uh, the 10 millimeter diameter so basically I'm gonna slide it in here make sure it's not moving around okay so I'm gonna press this down and I'm gonna remove the circle cutter and it looks like I can go ahead and cut and I'm gonna rotate clockwise to cut the circle I think I set my blade too deep mm, yeah obviously I set my blade too deep so it was not moving and cutting try again okay so um, doesn't work as good on the soft leather because as as you can see the leather itself is moving around I'm gonna try to readjust and see if I can get the entire piece of leather fixed, fixated and then make a cut and also I'm gonna try to tighten this um, this blade very well so it doesn't really move around all right let's see so that looks about right I'm gonna lock it now I'm gonna press it down I'm gonna start cutting so it's it's kind of moving but at the pieces that doesn't you know it moves a little bit and then it stopped because there was a circle that I previously cut so obviously scrap leather is not gonna work so I'm gonna actually use a real piece of my nice uh, nice uh, full grain cowhide and see if I can just cut a coaster shape out of it really quick so all right here we go all right so I set the blade to 
go past just a little bit of the leather on the thickest part. I, I kind of wish that uh, there is a uh, marking on the uh, on the guide here to know the distance. All right, here we go. Here we go. Now we're cutting for real. It's kind of tough. And I can't really do it with, you know, one full motion. I have to stop a few times. see oh man that's quite a quite a work um, and as you can see they actually moved a little bit so maybe it's the way I'm cutting it is wrong maybe it just doesn't work as good as I thought but uh, um, let's cut another circle But I mean, it does cut circle, it's, ju it's just not as good as I thought. So cutting another one. And an uh, important thing for this circle cutter is that you have to have enough space so the material doesn't really get lifted. And uh, um, again, let's try it one more time. So, second time is a charm, I guess. Uh, worked a lot better. I think it's a technique. Um, you just have to um, get used to it. So, obviously, the second circle went so well. There's, uh, it's a perfect circle. Um, and then I can probably cut one more using the extra space over here by adjusting the blade a little bit smaller. So, to maximize the usable area. So I'm going to do one more cut. The important thing is make sure it doesn't move around during your cutting. If it moves around, you're pretty much screwed because it's not going to be a nicely aligned cut. Oh, just moved. So, and now I, it's really hard to complete this cut because I moved, uh, the blade moved during the, the cutting. And um, so, yeah, really, you really ought to get used to it. Otherwise, you just cannot make a good cut. Cannot, absolutely cannot. Let's see. And there is no way you can realign it because um, I guess you could try by using this tool, but then again, it's 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 almost impossible to get the exact same cut again. So I I, I kind of align it, and then I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna give it one more try. Remove the guide. And I'm going to continue cutting based on what the guide told me that it's supposed to be. Nope, just moved again. Um, not really. Uh, so far, I'm not liking it because I only cut one perfect circle, and the other circles are not nearly as good. Um,
I mean, our... I'll probably just <laughs> use my hand to free cut the circle and then use this as a coast guard, as a, as a, use this as a coaster. So there you go. Um, so out of three circles, it successfully cut one and uh, I would say I probably need to get used to this tool. I want to give it a few more chances. So for sure, I'm going to update in the next section of the video whether this circle cutter has worked or not for me after maybe a week of use. And then um, I'll give you guys a final conclusion on if it's worth it to buy this circle cutter. Okay, so see you in the next section.